People often ask us at Powerhouse Animation, how do you create this magical thing called animation? It's so very, very awesome. It makes me proud to be an American. Well, nowadays, the computers do all the work. We just push a button, and the machine does the rest. Computers can do that now. Really, the technology is that amazing. We just drink coffee and push buttons like monkeys. But our methods used to be a lot different. Here, in footage from just a few short weeks ago, is how it was done. First, Powerhouse has to find a client. Sometimes our client gives us audio, scripts, storyboards, and designs, and our work is based on these designs. Animators are used to working with other artists' concepts, and we can certainly work with your designs, if you want to call them that. Other times, we create ideas for a cartoon for the client, based on the main ideas that the client needs to get across. We work really hard trying to create new and unique designs that are based on the latest fads and styles that the client is trying to emulate. We will spend hours and hours working on these designs. We show these new creative ideas to the client in a presentation. The client then makes adjustments, suggestions, and makes the ideas better. The next stage of animation is making the storyboards. Storyboards are rough sketches showing the staging of the piece, kind of like this presentation. Usually, Powerhouse will submit our storyboards in the form of animatics, which are storyboards timed to audio. Powerhouse then creates rough animation directly into the animatic. That way, we can show the client a work in progress at any time. Powerhouse animators draw right on the screen of magical computer monitors. Everyone loves these monitors, especially our classically trained animators. <laughs> Why, they don't miss drawing on paper at all. The rough animation drawings are passed to a cleanup artist who takes the scratchy, jumbly, abstract expressionism that is rough animation and makes it look like something recognizable in the physical world. All this time, other artists have been hard at work creating backgrounds, which are fine works of art in their own right. Cleaned up painted frames are added to these backgrounds, and the animation is ready to be shipped. Stay tuned to how it works next time, where we'll show you how we make video games by banging our employees' heads against a brick wall. Good night, America.